Hey everyone, Chris here. Today I'm going to teach you how to build fully functional web apps that are functional, scalable, and sellable. A web app is a website that performs some sort of function to make your life easier, and typically they involve some sort of user registration process. So you can access information that's private to you. As a result, the very first thing we need to learn to develop, besides basic HTML and CSS, is how to code a user-based system. When you visit a website like Facebook or GitHub, the very first thing you're asked to do is make a user account. Most of the time, making a user account just consists of giving this business a username and password. Now, this is important because when you use a username and password, you're proving that you are a particular person who owns a particular account. And this is what's known as user authentication. There are many kinds of authentication out there like fingerprint and facial recognition, but the most common method out there is using a username and password. With interest in app development booming, many developers, designers, and entrepreneurs want to build their own web apps, but one key thing holding them back is they don't know how to build a login system. A login system can consist of a few features. One, user registration. Two, login logout functionality. three, displaying dynamic data based on which user is logged in, four, page restriction and redirection based on whether user is logged in or not, five, password reset functionality, six, email confirmation functionality, and then finally seven, logging in with something such as Google or Facebook. Now there are a couple tutorials out there on how to code some of these features, but I have yet to see a course free or paid that teaches you how to code and utilize all these features together to create something that's actually production ready. Imagine creating an app in which a user can create an account but can't log back in after logging out. It's likely that the user would stop using the app altogether, losing you a user and potential revenue that comes with them. This course will teach you the core features free of charge. You should be able to get an app production ready with just these videos. Then if you'd like to learn the features that extend past the foundation, check out chriscourses.com where you can gain instant access to this course's premium videos. Let's get started by creating a user registration page. To prove that a particular user owns a particular account, we first need a way in which a user can create an account, a process known as user registration. The process of user registration involves taking something that can uniquely identify users such as a username and password, and then storing those two identifiers inside of a database. Later on, we can prove that a user owns a particular account if the username and password that they submit through a login form matches up with the username and password stored in the database. So all we're doing here is taking a user's input, i.e. their username and password, then storing it inside of a database. This seems simple enough, but there are a few important details we cannot miss when developing this. Storing users' password securely, validating user submitted data on the back end, validating user submitted data on the front end. We'll go over all these in depth as we continue to develop the user registration page, but first we need to get our development environment set up. To code our app, we're going to be using a combination of Nuxt and Express.js. Nuxt is a framework built on JavaScript and Vue.js that'll streamline our development workflow, and Express.js is a backend framework that's built on top of Node that'll allow us to connect to a database. These frameworks are both built on Node.js, so it's important that we install Node by visiting nodejs.org and going through the installation process. Installing Node also gives us access to Node's package manager, npm, which we can then use to install the two frameworks, Nuxt and Express. Pause the video, head over to nodejs.org, and follow the installation instructions to install Node. Once you've installed Node, then you can create a Nuxt app by opening up your computer's terminal and running the following command, npx create dash nuxt dash app. So to install Nuxt, the very first thing we are going to do is open up a terminal window, and then we are going to be running the following command, npx create dash nuxt dash app. And then what do we want to call this project? I'm going to call it node dash authentication. And once we have this command laid out, we're going to hit enter. And then it's going to guide us through a few prompts on how we want to build our project. How do we want to scaffold it so that it contains all the tools we need to get up and running. So for our project name, I'm going to leave that blank. 
project description. I'm going to leave that blank as well. Author name by default is my name, so I'm going to leave that blank too. And then for our package manager, typically I would use Yarn, but for this tutorial, since we've only installed Node, all we have access to is NPM at the moment, so we are going to select that. For UI framework, this is essentially what CSS framework do we want to use within our project. My absolute favorite is Talon CSS. It's a utility library that makes CSS development enjoyable finally. For our custom server framework, we are going to choose Express, and this is what's going to allow us to connect to a backend um, and essentially make any requests that we need, such as contacting a database to grab data for our user. For our Next.js modules, we are going to select both of these, Axios and Progressive Web App Support. Axios is a library that lets us contact our backend in a very easy manner, while Progressive Web App Support means eventually, if we want to, we can start transforming this into a mobile app if we meet a specific set of standards. Choose linting tools, we are going to select all of these as well. These are tools that make sure that our code meets some specific standards. So does our code meet, does our, all of our code have semicolons or does it not have semicolons? Is our code formatted correctly? These three tools will make sure that we always meet specific standards that we set early on. Next we'll define a specific set of standards as well, which I think are really, really good. So it's very important that we click all three of these to make sure that our code is as clean and scalable as possible. For testing framework, we are going to choose Jest. And then for our rendering mode, we will choose Universal Server Side Rendering. And this is going to take a little bit of time to install. So once everything has installed, you'll see Nux presents us with some steps on how to get started. We are going to follow these steps directly. So CB node-authentication. We're going directly inside of the folder that we just created. And then we are going to run our app with npm run dev. And what this is going to do is spin up a Nuxt server, which we can then visit in the browser at localhost 3000. So you'll see server is listening on localhost 3000. We can copy this URL right here. Open up a browser such as Chrome. And then when we visit this, you'll see that our app is now running. This is what our app should look like. This is a scaffolded Nux project, and this is going to act as the basis for all of our app later on when we do things such as user registration, user login logout functionality, dynamic rendering for data, and so forth. It's very helpful. It's going to make sure that our code is clean and scalable, and this is the way I recommend you scaffold any project, not just an authentication project, because it's so enjoyable to develop on. So we can now begin creating our user registration form. Head on over to the next video for just that, guys. If you'd like to track your course progress, gain access to development-related cheat sheets, view other web dev-related courses such as how to code generative art, and gain full access to this course's extra features, you can join our development school at chriscourses.com by clicking over here. Otherwise, don't forget to subscribe for more updates on free development content, and I'll see you in the next video right now.